The following comes from the very first episode of Straight Up that was produced by students at Bossier Parish Community College nearly 10 years ago. We should warn you, the production, format, and guests are going to be a little different from what you are currently used to. We want to thank our former colleagues and teachers at Bipsy for helping us start what you now know as a weekly podcast. With that being said, let us take you back in time. What's up, guys? Welcome to Straight Up, a brand new talk show here on the Bosch Parish Community College campus where we give students a chance to be straight up on a number of topics. I'm your host, Calvin Hamilton. On today's show, we have a very special edition of it. It's about bullying, something very close to my heart. Now, Webster Dictionary defines bullying as someone who is habitually cruel to others who are weaker. Over 3.2 million students are victims of bullying each year. Now, today, we have our four student panelists to give us their opinions on everything bullying. Start off with Brandon. Brandon, tell us what, what, what your name is and what you're studying here at Bipsy. Hello, my name is Brandon Fountain, and I study in sound recording. All right, and then Jill. Hi, I'm Jill Harper, and I'm studying broadcasting. And Christina. I'm Christina Davis, and I'm studying radio broadcasting. And of course, Finch. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm Finch, and I'm studying film. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys, this is how the show goes. We will ask, we'll answer the questions from YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook for today's subject for the panelists to answer. They have about three minutes to give their views on the questions at hand. After that, that the question will be asked and so forth. There's only one rule to the show is that all your answers have to be straight, straight up. up. All right, guys, you understand the, the rules? Yeah, we got it. All right, yes. let's get started. Let's get started with our first question. Hi, I'm Jeremy, and do you think that bullying is being addressed enough in public schools? All right. Jeremy asks, do you think bullying is addressed enough in public schools? In schools in general, actually. Well, I don't know. Um, really, I think they're not, man. I mean... When it comes to school, most of the kids, they are scared anyway. They say, because in middle school, you're more afraid of the other students than the teachers. I mean, because you're with them 24-7. They address it more, but it's still on the base of the mind of the little kid they sell. They tell, yeah, tell the teacher. <laughs> Prince, mm -hmm. how many times have you told the teacher when you got bullied or whenever? Uh, no, nah, man, snitches get stitches. <laughs> snitches get stitches, <laughs> man. <laughs> For me, it's a serious subject. Here's, I mean, here's like, yeah. like I, you know, I thought I had one opinion about it, but now that I'm here, I, I think I've got kind of like a different one. You, you think about it, when it comes down to a bullying situation, it, it almost turns into, when, when it hits an adult at a certain level, a lot of times doesn't it become he said, she said sort of a deal? Right. You know, he did this or they did that, and then they're like, no, they did this, so I did that. So... And then, and then let me tell you something else. It's, it's different from their time and age. Our time is different when it comes to bullying because we have all types of bullying now. And they really don't know how they go through it. I mean, they, they're not with them 24-7. But, I mean, these teachers, let's face it, these teachers at schools, they, they spend more time, let's face it, with the students than the parents actually do, given on weekends. But these teachers see the students every day. How can these teachers help prevent bullying and how can it be addressed? And there's the thing. they I personally think they do address it enough, but no one actually acts on it. Because you'll have a situation to where, okay, my nephew's in second grade. A kid hit him in the face with the swing. He went and he told the teacher and the teacher said, you, you're telling him too much. And she told him to go back out and play. So yeah. they, they're talking about it, and they tell you what to do. It's just yeah, the people who are in it. charge aren't doing anything about it because they say you have soft skin, and you should just get oh, over it. Oh, you broke your leg walking <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, yeah you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Just walk. Sometimes things that, you know, as little, not necessarily little kids, but like middle schoolers and high schoolers, you know, I remember having my feelings hurt because somebody said something mean about, about me or to me, and I would tell a teacher, and it would be like, well, I mean, what am I supposed to do about it? You know, like, it's not as important to the teacher or to, like, 
the person that you tell because it didn't happen to them right. and it didn't hurt their feelings. So it's like, well, okay, well, well, I mean, she said you were ugly. What do you, I mean, you know, like it's just one of those things where since it didn't happen to them, they don't really know what to do about it. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So. Okay. We'll ask you guys a question now that we all know what happened in Connecticut and which is a sad tragedy that those kids got harmed or actually killed in Connecticut. You know, they, people are taking more security precautions in classrooms. Do you think that putting cameras in the classes will help prevent bullying and kind of help aid teachers to see what's going on in classes where they can't see it sitting at a desk? None of it's going to matter if they don't do anything about it. Yeah. That's, that's but now you have thing. the actual proof now. Will this, will this help aid the teachers at all? You're telling me they're going to record... What, how long is the school day? Eight hours? Yeah. yeah. Eight hours. You're going to record eight hours and somebody's going to go back and watch it? Not necessarily. Yeah, no, I, 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 I'm assuming only if a kid says, well, he jabbed me in my side with a pencil or something. Right. And that's I, when you go back. I worked in a daycare for three years and they film us all the time forever. Like the camera rolls and rolls and rolls. And they only looked at it when a parent was like, this is what happened. This is what my child told me happened. So can we go back and look and see if that yeah. really is what happened? So it's not necessarily that somebody's going to sit there and monitor the tapes the whole time. But if something does happen and someone said, you know, little Johnny stuck a, a pin in my side, you know, you can go back and see it and be like, okay, that really did happen. You know, like. I'm kind of a fan. That's a lot of filming to sit there yeah. and watch the whole day. But like I said, if we can make that one solution better, I mean, wouldn't that be great? Or does it have the camera yeah, rolling it, throughout it, the day? It's it, ideal. Yeah, yeah, because you think of a teacher in a class full of 20 kids, you can't catch everything that right. happens. But so are you going to catch help. everything that happens if there's one camera there? You're not going to yeah, catch everything exactly. that happens. That's the thing. That's a yeah. lot of money. There's yeah. always a way around it. The bathroom or something. Something's yeah, that's going to say. Being with them, they don't, they're don't. they not with them 24 seven. They go to the restroom for a break. You know, you got, what, what's that thing you used to go outside? I mean, recess. recess. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, hey, they took out What was that away one from time? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I do, like, I agree with it. Like, I think that they should put cameras in the classrooms because I do think it helps. And like I said, not necessarily somebody has to be behind the camera the whole time watching it. It's if something happens. Because I know that, you know, if something happened to me and somebody was like, that's bogus, I don't believe you. I would love to have the proof behind it to know that that really did happen, you know. Or if something happened to my child. I mean, I don't have kids. But if I did... And something happened to my child, and they told me that something happened to them. I would honestly want to believe my child, right. but I'd also want proof too. You know, like yeah, I understand that. All right, guys, let's jump into our next question. Whoa. Hi, my name is Jacqueline. How do you feel about cyberbullying? Now, how do you guys feel about cyberbullying? This is a big one. How do you feel about cyberbullying? It's something that you know, it's out there. You can't you can't face it. It's, it's out, out there. there. I think that's the dumbest thing in the world. But why is like why is it like how do you prevent it and like you can't well, because it's the internet. I mean, if you if it's on there, it's there forever. You, you no can't. You, can really you do, can't. But I don't know how the people let it really get to them. Yeah, you know I'm saying you you can prevent it, but you also can't. I mean, because you know you got blocks. You got a way to block people now, and most of like Facebook and everything. You add friends before, you know, I mean, you have to add them before they be able to write things or message you. I've always had a rule, and this is just me personally, but, like, I don't add people that I don't know, that I've not met face-to-face. -face. I will not yeah. add you on Facebook because I feel like that is dangerous and that... Aren't you usually bullied by somebody that you do know? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, yeah, but at the same time, I mean... I don't add people that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, so, you know, if, I, I, if, if like, Big Sarah bullies you, you're not going to add her on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, I don't <laughs> add people I don't like because, you know, I but don't want them knowing what I'm doing. You're right. Like, people are bullied by their friends and you can also block them at the same time. You can avoid them. Like, I just feel like, and I don't know. I don't know. When, when I uh, first went to college, the, the big thing was Facebook. The, you know, and... That was back in 05. You had to have a college account, like a college email account. Mm -hmm. You could not talk to anybody from another university. It, you only connected with the people in your college. Now it's gotten to the point where what? You can be 13, 14 mm -hmm. years old and you just have to have any random email. Right. You know, yeah, that's a little ridiculous. You know, you're introducing social networking to a group of kids that don't understand that it's a public forum. That everything you do is basically recorded on a little chip. You know, you might say, oh, I hate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches today. And in 20 years from now, 
they'll be able to pull out that information. So you have kids that one don't know how to use that this tool, Facebook, and now you know you have kids at that age that are, that are immature. They get bullied at home. I mean, not at home. They get bullied at school. They're sent text messages left and right talking mm -hmm. about. Oh, you're ugly. Or, oh, you're fat. Yeah, I know or, a five year oh, I know got, a five year old that know how to use Facebook. You, there's a five year old that knows how to use Facebook. Okay. And then, and then like, you don't, when you leave school, it doesn't stop. Text messages come, no. Facebook messages come. And I, I think that Facebook should have just stayed with, hey, college. And that's it. Yeah, but see, Facebook even, isn't your only form of cyberbullying. Yeah, that's right. people, if was, Facebook doesn't even bother a lot of people. It's when you just so happen to Google your name and you see a picture of yourself right. on images that someone's manipulated and right. made look like you. That's when the cyberbullying really yeah. gets mad because it, it's, Facebook is easy enough to just say, okay, well, delete like, and block. Okay. Instagram. Okay, well, well, one quick question, okay? I'm with you on the whole thing about you know, at maturity level. Now, it used to be a college website. Now, think about it. Some people in college were kind of immature. How would you do with those people who had the access to the college Facebook? What do you do to prevent them at the mature, supposed mature level? Like, how would you prevent that then, right? Like, that's right. I mean, not necessarily being immature, but like, I know that I'm 20 years old and in college, and somebody can say something mean to me and it would still hurt my feelings. So, and I get, like, people who are immature and the people who are saying that stuff, like, I don't know how to prevent that. But I know that it's not necessarily, like, being immature that makes it, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Some people are just mean. Right. Like, 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 that's it. I people mean, are mean. And I'm not, I mean, like, I'm not suicidal. Like, I would never consider suicide. But, I mean, like, this still, the, like... It's just the fact that somebody could say something mean about me and I would be like, that really upset me, mm -hmm. you know? And I mean, even as adults, you know, you can't go around and say, I just don't get why, I don't know, anybody would do something that they don't want done to themselves. I, I, I have people that are on my friends list that are 35 years old and, you know, they'll say something incredibly, incredulously stupid on one of my posts. <laughs> and I remember blocking the guy and he texted me like, man, why did you defriend me? Why did you block me? And it's like, well, because you were stupid. And if you don't, like, well, you should be able to reach a certain age where you should understand that your your actions have consequences. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's, that's pretty deep right there. All right, let's get to our third question. Hi, I'm William Bryan. And what do you think are the major reasons why people bully other people? All right. It says, what do you think the main issue is why other people bully other people? Once Haters. again, people are just mean. Yeah. People are insecure. People... It, it, it's not always insecure. Like a, a, a big particular... time, it's it's insecurity or maybe your home life is bad or something else and you're just trying to make up for it. But most cases, people are just mean because they can be. And it's not a matter of parents or anything because I've, I've been in schools where the parents were called in because their kid was bullying somebody and the parents just lost their minds over it and they couldn't understand that their child who's nice to everybody normally would just randomly pick this one person to pick on. So, I mean, it's just, it, it's a decision. Somebody wakes up and says one day, she's smaller than me. I'm going to punch her in the back of the head. But outside of that, is there any kind of other motive that make a child or a person become a bully or somebody that's real hateful and spiteful? They want to belittle somebody and make them basically weak. There's lots of reasons. I mean, there's, there's plenty of reasons why somebody would bully. Size. Just because somebody is picking on you or bullying you doesn't make you weak. Right. Yeah. If anything else, I would say it's the other way around. The one makes them weak. Yes. The one that's bullying exactly. and the one that's picking on right. someone, that makes them weak. Right. The person that's able to hold their chin up high and keep, you know, some people say brush it off and sometimes it's harder to do that. But I think the person that's able to do that is definitely the stronger person. Exactly. Because if you resort, resort back to what they're doing in retaliation, Aren't you sinking down to their level? Yeah. yeah I now. mean, and a lot of it is jealousy. Like, I remember in the seventh grade, I told some girl her shoes were ugly because I wanted them, and I thought they were really cute. And yeah. I was like, you have really ugly shoes. Wow. wow. <laughs> like, you I would mean, never would have wow. Personally, I'm just saying, like, personal example, I, you know, I was jealous of her shoes, so I told her they were ugly. You know, like... I tell Jill all the time I hate her hair, but that's really because I, <laughs> oh, love, I love, love her hair. I love <laughs> Jill's hair. Let's get real. I love, Jill, I love Christina's hair. Christina looks My hair right. changes a lot. You guys look <laughs> <laughs> All you guys look good. But let me ask you a question. I mean, okay, let's get serious. Now, this is, yeah, you can be honest. 
You know, it's called straight up. I want you to be straight up. Have you guys ever been the bully? Once, once before in your mind, and you can just answer it one time. You just. Uh, I like I don't I don't like to think that I'm a bully. I right. pick on people, and a lot of times I pick on people that I like. Right. You know, if I'm not picking on you, I genuinely don't like you. But you know, that's just kind of a. You must really I know like that's me. weird. <laughs> you must really like me a lot. Oh, let's not get started. I think, I mean, I think Jill and Fitch have a little a little beef going on, I guess, or something like that. We have but a really really strict love hate relationship. It's out so. there. Whatever. That's all good. All right, guys, stick with us. We on, on the coming up next is we have more of your straight up questions and more straight up answers right after this. I think straight up means to be able to speak in a way that is straight up, to be honest and to speak your truth. Raw, uncut. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's blunt. You know, straight to the point. This what it is. It's just a place to be open and honest. And that's what I appreciate most about it. And it provides a place for community members to come together and just be straight up with each other about things that are going on in the world because it affects all of us. Uh, unfiltered, raw, with all the cursing that Calvin does. Straight up is just being real, telling it, telling it like it is, you know, um, being you. Being solid, being who you are, no matter what it is, no matter what situation you're faced with, right? This is who you are. It really, it really speaks to me saying it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't, straight up. Years ago, my family had a scare when we thought my mom had breast cancer. It was painful to see her go through all the testing and witnessing her be just as scared. Fortunately, she did not have breast cancer, but millions of women and men aren't as lucky. So we here at Straight Up are supporting and standing with those who are battling and have survived breast cancer with our official breast cancer awareness merchandise. Just visit our website, straightupshowpodcast.com, and get yours today. All proceeds will be donated to local breast cancer foundations. So we encourage you not only to get educated, but join us as we stand straight up to breast cancer. Hey everybody out there, I'm Sutan Salahuddin. From Southside, season three is out right now on HBO Max. Make sure you tune in and make sure you tune into the Straight Up Podcast show whenever you are online. Peace. All right, guys, welcome back to Straight Up. Once again, I'm your host, Calvin Hamilton. Today's show is the subject of bullying. If you missed it already, we have some interesting questions and answers. And also, we have our student panelists. We have Finch, Christina, New Faces, Jill, and Brandon. All right, guys, now, let's, before we get to our next question, let's talk about something we, we just kind of touched up before the commercial break. Now, let me ask you a question. Is bullying and picking on someone the same thing, or nitpicking the same thing. I feel like there's definitely a line. There's definitely a line between picking on someone, and it depends. It depends on your definition of, of picking on someone. Like picking on someone. Did as you a, just rewind? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't gather my words. Picking. 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 Exactly. Definition and, right there. Yeah. Picking, because you can also pick on someone in a bullying manner, and you can also pick on somebody as a friend. Right. But. As long as we're talking about as friends, there's a definite line between picking on someone and bullying. And you just have to know where that line is. And you have to be conscious enough to not cross that line. Okay. Because if you do, then, I mean, like I said, it's two different things. You know, you know, yeah, there, there's a, so you and Finch, as we can see, kind of have like an outside relationship. Outside of straight up. Um, oh, don't say outside. Well, 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 I mean, you know, you know what I mean. Like, you guys are friends and you know each other right. as friends. Now, I know just, everybody pick here is a friend. Yeah, everybody, we know, but y'all joke around a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, she would you, how would you take it if he kind of took it a little too far? Right? How would you react to it? And we know that he would never take it too far. Right. But, like, how would you... Oh, well, you I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, honestly, though there has been... Um, <laughs> uh, there have been times when he's been joking with me and he's made comments where... It really did kind of hurt my feelings, but I didn't really let it show because, <laughs> because um, I mean, he's one of my best friends, right? right? So, and I know that he wouldn't mean to hurt my feelings, but a lot of times you really do need to be conscious of what you say to certain people. 
All right. Now, let me play a quick question. Uh, fellas, it's for the fellas, for you guys. Uh, is it that we joke around too much? Ooh, or is like it, it is it, is it, girls are just too sensitive? It's both. I got to tell you right now. Uh-oh. You guys are sensitive. Gonna, if I tell you that right now, you Christina's going to get see, me. Uh-oh. What's see, wrong, Christina? About, man, you, you know me. I like to joke around a whole lot. But, you know, sometimes I don't see, like, you know, um, Christina could just, you know, somebody just bumped into her, you know, she just lost her cell phone. I don't know what happened to her this morning. I ain't know she stumped the toe. So I just, you know, did a little jokey jokey and you know, I get slapped for no apparent reason. No? All right, Fitz, what about you? Like, how, what, what do you think? Do we do we joke around as guys too much or 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 is it girls who are just too sensitive? <laughs> so tell the truth. Tell the uh, truth, man. Tell the truth. You can't have a yang without the yang. Right. You know? Right. Uh, I'm one of those who can't take life too seriously. Uh, there are times where you have to be serious, but yeah, uh, you know, me personally, I like to joke around because I I hope that that makes other people around me feel better. Feel comfortable. Yeah, yes. you, you know, okay. you just try to live in the moment. All right, and before we get to the next question, all right, ladies, how do we figure out when to joke or not to joke? Because you guys can agree with me. That's confusing. Right. I mean, we're females, and I mean, even I don't understand me a lot of the time. But um, thank God. Yeah, at least you tell the truth. I mean, hey, I'm gonna be honest here. I know that I am complex, and I just don't. I'm just complicated as personally. But um, a lot of times, it's you just can't. Like, if you're gonna snap, I mean, if we're gonna snap, we're gonna snap, and we're gonna get mad, and it's just gonna be. There's no warning. There's <laughs> there's not like. But at the same time, if we're obviously having a really really bad day. Don't try to like pick on us. And I know in Finch is it's, it's, it's listen, <laughs> hold on, listen, hold on, hold on. Okay, but, just, listen. okay, go ahead. Finch, one of my very best friends I said, a lot of times will try to not necessarily pick on me, but try to make me laugh after he's telling I like after he knows that I've had a really bad day. And that sometimes is not the right thing to do. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. What? I think guys should be a little bit more sensitive so, to we, yes. we should be able to tell whether a lady's having you know, a worse day because usually there are signs that tell if they're more quiet than usual or if they're you know look at, maybe even just looking down you know yeah. and that's the gentleman that most guys try to be and yeah. that's what a good relationship is now speaking of relationships we all know what catfishing is don't we mm -hmm. do we not know what catfishing is everybody you know what catfishing is oh yeah catfishing yes. okay all right well, for you guys do not know what catfishing is out there uh, it is something that involves online dating. The person on the other end is not who they say they are. For example, Lord Dane's and Man Taipei. Now, our next question comes from our Facebook page from Elizabeth. And she asks, is catfishing a part of bullying? Mm. That's a hard one. I don't know. That's, That's a, a tough good one. one. Uh, it, it depends on the situation, I guess. Okay, well, we all know what catfishing is. It's fake yeah. people pretending to be somebody. It, it, it depends so. on, you know, how it works. Because some people do it out of boredom and they're not intending to hurt you. It's just some random girl decides to get online and is saying, okay, I'm this guy. And if you happen to like that guy, it, it's kind of unintentional in a way because they were just joking around and you, you were the one who liked him. But then you have situations like going back to high school to where a girl who was picked on and, and nobody talks to and then you have the girl who picks on her every day, pretending, pretending to be, be someone, like get, hacking the guy that she has a crush on, and pretending to be him, asking her out somewhere. That's when it turns to bullying. I was like, see, if you know that person, it makes it a little bit more personal, which makes it into a bullying thing. But if you're in Australia somewhere and you make up a random account, and a girl in Louisiana find it, finds it, you know. I feel like even in that situation, though, like you can tell if I make up a random site and I have some person that's trying to. Not are not necessarily trying to be, or we get more intimate via Facebook, Twitter, whatever, and I can tell that this is happening, if I continue to carry it on, then that would in a way be bullying because that person gets their feelings hurt in the end anyway. All right, if you have like something to say, what were you going to say? I have nothing to say. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to say much, something. But. They pretty much went through it. I mean, the only way it's going to be bullying if like they're not both on the same Level. The, the I mean, difference is malicious intent. I yeah. Mean, that way. What I you mean, intend to have. If, if you're looking for somebody and you both are good, you know, good as in, yes, I'm looking for somebody, yes, <laughs> we'll, we'll be good, then it's not bullying. What did you just say? She said big words, like malicious, <laughs> malicious something like. 
bad intentions, trying to be. And hurtful. maybe that's the difference between bullying and picking. Yeah, yeah I mean, you don't, yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. you don't mean to, what but you're doing. you know. But also, when it happens. comes to the picking on and bullying things, you you never know the way the person that you're picking on and the person that you're bullying is going to take it. Whether you have malicious, that I mean, we're not going to know if somebody's like, you know, somebody I don't know is like, hey says something derogatory, mm. you know, I'm not going to know if they're joking or if they're being serious, you know? So you just have to, you have to think about what other people are going to think about what you say. Which we kind of touched on a little bit before. Our next question comes from our Twitter page. It comes from Heather. And her Twitter name is Buzzy, Buzzy09. Heather asks, does appearance behavior curate ability? Which we already touched on already, but <laughs> does their behavior at home Make their child become a bully. Oh yes, man. I I can literally say it's, that. It's it's a huge factor, but sometimes it's not a parent's fault for what a child does because your your parent can raise you to be someone different from who you actually turn out to be, and you can act completely different at home and around everyone else than you do around that one person at school that you like to trip or something. It's just right. But you like me personally, and like I keep going for me to examples, and I'm sorry, but uh, like. I believe in certain things because my parents believe in certain things. And I do things because my parents do certain things. So, you know, if your parents are telling you it's okay to be mean to others, or if your parents are mean to you and you think that's okay and you think that that's the way it should be, then that's what you're going to do. But at the same time, you could be bullied and then completely want to turn the other cheek and not be like that at all. Okay. Now, real quick, before we end the show today, I'm going to ask you guys personal questions again. Straight up. Brandon, real quick, tell us, have you ever been bullied and how did you overcome it if you had? Um, oh man, dude, I've been bullied a whole lot. But I gotta tell you the main reason how I got of it was I just stopped taking taking it. I just had to stick up for myself and just, you know, tell them I ain't gonna I ain't feeling it no more. Okay, I mean, all right, Jill. They can't do it. Um, I actually it was more of a cyberbullying thing. I had this boyfriend and um this girl that he was friends with before we started dating was being really mean just to like comments on our Facebook conversations and all this stuff. And I just really, I just ignored it. And, just ignored. and she just went away, like she went away. It was one of those things where like how ever cliche that is, you just ignore it and it goes away. And it really did. Cause I wasn't going to give her the satisfaction to know that she hurt my feelings. Christine. Oh, uh, okay. From fourth grade to my junior year in high school, I was, ostracized so it wasn't a matter of being bullied it means everybody made a joint decision all at the same time on the same day to never talk to christina ever again <laughs> so i literally from fourth grade to i transferred high schools had no one to talk to no one talked to me at all. You i wouldn't talk to you you don't <laughs> you don't it still sucks but you don't let it hold you back from anything and it shaped me in a way i'm i believe i'm a better person because the people that ignored me all it are now not necessarily at where I am in life. Okay. Cousin, well, yeah. we love you. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks. You know, that, yeah, I mean, I think everybody really at one point or another has been bullied or picked on at some point. Uh, the, the biggest thing is if you overcome it, does it make you a better person? And the thing is, it doesn't matter, things get better after school, after high school. Uh, even on to college, things get better. Your life gets better, and you become a better person because of it. So a lot of my ways have a time. And I want to thank you guys for being who you are, being strong-minded, uh, being great panelists, because that's all the time we have today. Uh, this episode is straight up. Now, if you guys out there have any questions about bullying or whatever we're talking about, we'll let you know. Either send us a video or write to us on our Twitter or Facebook page at Straight Up. We'll catch you guys next time. Until then, make sure you stay straight up. up. In today's show, we talk about something that unfortunately happens daily in our country, and that's bullying. Now, let's face it. Some of us, or maybe even all of us, have experienced some form of bullying. Those of us that can need to watch out for those that cannot just shrug it off. So we challenge you today here straight up to daily make a new friend, share a smile, and most important, stop the bullying.